beloved Dum Dum! What is up everyone, Brandon Tyrell here. We are playing some Rick and Morty's Dungeons and Dragons joined by Wizards of the Coast, Kate Welch, fantastic game designer who will be our DM today. Uh, in addition to that, we've got IGN's own Michael Swain, John Ryan. Hi there. And Maud Garrett. I'm just a guest today. She's just joining. <laughs> Once again, I'm Brandon Tyrell. Uh, let's get into who exactly we're gonna be playing. I'm playing uh, everyone's favorite character from Rick and Morty. Jerry. Uh, <laughs> in this wonderful no, no. fantasy world, yeah, I am. Right. Must we? Here Must Robin, we? Jerry's heroic analog. What's your character, though? Uh, wizard. Oh, sorry, Kira's yeah. a wizard. And uh, apparently, he just knows all the right things to do inside. Yeah, cool. Um, so my history with Dungeons and Dragons goes for quite a long time, but I, in all my years of playing, have never played a cleric before. So Fun. this is a big deal for me. Um, but I'm going to play my character as Beth Great. from Rick and Morty, playing Leanne. <clears throat> Leanne Armor. What is this last name here? You think? Armoranthia. Armoranthia. Oh. This is so much fun, everyone. Look I'm just glad I know. have a drink here. That's what's important, <laughs> I think, for all of us. But um, yeah, apparently, Jerry, you were saying that I was really good at healing people and I had a nice touch, so I'm gonna use that. People, horses, <laughs> and really yeah. anything in that. The, part. It's the horses that we really need to worry about. Yeah. This one, I think. Mm. Um, I'm uh, playing Meatface, mm. who is Meatface. Uh, he's a fighter, uh, and he's good at being a meat face. <laughs> it's a problem, I'm a That's, vegetarian, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, it's just don't eat my face. Him. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Oh, jeez, guys, I don't, I'm looking oh, no. at this chart here, there's a lot of numbers, and I'm don't, oh. Basically, I'm a, I'm a M Morty, and I'm playing a, a Keth Silverson, who's, who's a, little, a little stabbier than your regular Morty, so if I stab <laughs> anyone, just don't, don't get mad, I'm sorry. I like stabbing. I'll leave. Morty. <laughs> Stabby Morty. Oh, yeah. No, I'm I'm your I'm your uh, your dungeon master, uh, Rick, oh, no. and I'm I'm not gonna talk like this the whole time <laughs> because then I won't be able to talk for weeks. <laughs> that could just, be a good thing. Let's just dive right in. Shall we? Oh, I love Ooh, it. Yeah. All right. Silky voice. You're <laughs> you're an adventurer. Or maybe you're even a group of adventurers, whatever. Why are you here? No one cares. Don't tell me your backstory. <laughs> we are here to kick ass and find treasure. Yeah. That's your motivation. Do it. Now get ready to roll. In front of you is a dark staircase. Its mysterious shadows beckon you to enter. And by beckon, I mean you need to go down the stairs or there's not a hell of a lot of a reason for us to be sitting around this table, is there? <laughs> Meat face goes down those stairs. Oof. This initiative taker. Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jerry goes down right after him. Uh, wow, all oh, right. Sorry. Kier. Kier? Kath's gonna try and, and draft behind Meat Face as closely go. as possible, lose some wind resistance. Has a large frame, good for Exactly, yes. Yeah. Leanne checks out her new armor. She's like, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why haven't I played this before? And I walk down Kier, the stairs. Kier, roll me a d20. Yeah. Uh, anything in particular? Just no. D20. Nine. Okay, oh. You think uh, Leanne's looking real good? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> you guys get into a room. This room is dark. It smells like a pet store. It's all wood chips and warm poop down here. Shaving. A bunch of bats flap around the room. Mm -hmm. They look harmless. I don't who I, they are. I can't. <laughs> I believe you when they say that. I, when the narrator says something looks harmless, that's usually a bad sign. That's not good. Um, um, I have a mace in my hand, and it looks so sick. You know, it'd look even better if it was lit up. I cast light onto my mace, and now we have light in this room. Delicious. Excellent. What do the bats do? I want to kind of, ooh, gross. They immediately attack. Everybody roll in. <laughs> Great. Great. Meatface is into it. Meatface had one job. <laughs> Wait, Meatface didn't do anything. Oh, that's not great. Oh no, yeah, Meatface is not dexterous. <laughs> it's a penalty to initiative. Yeah, oh no, Meatface is not dexterous. <laughs> Meatface is not an easy mover. All right, uh, Kath. Kath is extra dexterous from years of prepubescent masturbation. <laughs> uh, I rolled a ten with my modifier. That's a twelve. Jesus, 
Kath. <laughs> Your mother's here. <laughs> I don't Ooh, need to hear look, things like that. Kath is, he's goth. He's a little edgier than regular Morty, <laughs> all right? So. We face wonders about his decision to come hang out with you guys. Uh, he also got a 14. A 14, yeah. not bad. Leanne. 10. Ah, oh, very nice. Kier. Seven. Seven. Ooh, That's a bah, 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 bah. It's kind of a Jerry roll, if you ask me. I'm so. still <laughs> getting into here. It's, yeah, it's just yeah. so average. <laughs> I mean, no, that's, the, that's sliding right in there. That's <laughs> what, what I do with it. The bad boys are going first. Oh, yeah. And they are going to take a swing at your, your the, the mace holder, um, you, Leanne. Fair enough. And they are going to hit for a 16. No, no. No. Mm -mm, oh, no. no, no. So these little, these little monsters come trying to bite at you. Um, but maybe they're blinded by the light, wrapped up like a, you know, and the et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and so they come, they come biting at you. Nothing happens. Next new order is Meat Face. Meat Face. <laughs> um, Meat Face just takes this big old axe uh, that he loves so very much and mm -hmm. trails it for a second, uh, and then chops at the fly things. Hell yeah! yeah. All right, um, go ahead and give me that attack roll, Meat Face. You got it. All right. Um, Twenty-one. <laughs> that hits. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, Eleven. Yeah, um, that was enough to kill at least five. Oh yes, uh, beef face. Yeah, you, well uh, done. No, Thank you. you. Only, but you can only kill one. <laughs> However, you kill it five times as hard as necessary. Oh. So it splits into about eighteen different pieces and goes, why? <laughs> All right, next. Oh, no. It learned to speak just so it could express that it's, moment. It's that one moment. of the qualities of Sturges that's not in the monster manual is that on death they can say one word and get a last word. <laughs> Fear. Uh, Kath. Uh, Kath's got uh, way more dexterity than strength, so I'm going to go ahead and throw one of my daggers. Ten. Uh, that does not hit. No, your dagger bounces off of one of these bats. It doesn't say anything in common, but it looks at you like it's prepping something. My feeling of self-worth remains unchanged. <laughs> Next newer is Leanne. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this mace that I have in here. It doesn't like the light, so <laughs> let's see what it does. Yeah, go for it. Ooh, I believe that is a 19, no, plus four, that's a 23. That oh. hits, oh. that'll hit. Don't I mean, attack damage, my dear. Alrighty, so my attack damage is just a 1d6 plus two bludgeoning. Is that all? Mm, that's yeah, it's just four damage, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, um, that's enough to kill it two times over. So Ooh. with your mace, uh, the spikes of your mace come down on the body of this helpless little flying rodent, <laughs> and it says, please. <laughs> into a million pieces. Well, you should not have attacked me, should you? She feel, feels existentially uncomfortable. <laughs> Kier. Kier is uh, <clears throat> going to take one very confident step in front of Leanne, and uh, his hands begin to glow, and he fires magic missiles, one at each of the bats. Incredible. There are only two bats remaining. So oh, she ahead. fires give two me. at one and one at the other. Give, me that, give me that damage roll. So. Uh, two. Five, five. Oh yeah, destroyed. One of them, you get exactly <laughs> enough hit points to to massacre it, and it says thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> taken back. And the, but the victorious. Other, trust you to use a um, a spell, by the way, where you cannot fail shooting. <laughs> very, very clever there. I see. <laughs> That's probably the best Jerry move of all. It was heroic. <laughs> it was. I liked it. Um, the other Sturge uh, explodes spectacular, much like the way Meat Face made it explode, but with more magic. Mm. Um, and it screams, um, <laughs> Rick! Because <laughs> it's ultimately Rick's victory. Right, yeah. Uh, All right. Rick-tory. It's a rick oh, It's very good. Right. So Keep you guys, um, the, the, uh, these little uh, fun flying friends are all dead, and there's a door uh, to the north, should you choose to accept it. Just one door? Just one door. Keth makes sure to recover his thrown dagger before moving on. That is good Excellent. inventory management. Right, right. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. He, I had a... sort of blows the uh, the <laughs> magical smoke off his finger guns <laughs> and uh, opens the northern door. All right. Yeah. Um, no traps go off. So good job. Of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. I knew that. Okay. All right. Oh. Good, good. Good job. Not not checking for traps, and then you should really luckily be having no traps go off. Real good. Anybody want to? I don't know. Search the corpses or the room for tra the little bits of yeah, the little bat, bat stuff. Bits? The bat yeah. bits. I mean, I'll poke around. I How suppose. delicious do they look? Uh, on, like a solid three out of ten. Meat face will take one. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll just pocket a single, like Excellent. whatever the most whole corpse is, and oh, no, no. toss that in his satchel. Perfect. 
Uh, Leanne, are you going to search for some treasure? Oh, I'll have a little peck around. Sure. I will, yes. Mm. All right, something nice and pretty. You are, you uh, make your way through, you're, you end up, um, Searching around, it's it's uh you do, you determine a little too late that it's back guano that you're searching through. Mm. You do find 35 silver pieces. I'll take it. However, mm. you're now your hands smell like sturge poop, <laughs> um, and that will now impose disadvantage on all of your charisma checks and saving throws. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it's not a key stat for a cleric, so you're all right. True. Um, 35, you say? Yes, silver piece? Three, five silver pieces. Worth it. Well done. That's Maud speaking, not <laughs> the Worth it. The old poo has the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> yeah. All right, this doorway extends to a passage to the north. Just kind of just goes down the... Kind of just goes, okay. yeah. Yeah. Meet first. I, I should probably go first with the light. Absolutely. Ooh, but, yeah, you no, know, that's not a bad idea. I'm gonna We're hang back go. as a rogue and sort of stealthily try to stay at the edge of the shadows. Excellent. Mm -hmm. okay. Behind the light. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Well, with me, can, uh, can Kier press the digit, press the digitate, or a word like that? Yeah. Uh, mod or Leanne's hands? Absolutely, and I'm gonna need to see some very good roleplay here. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. Your charisma has been restored. <laughs> Ooh. No longer imposed. No problem. This is the most valuable Jerry has ever been. Yeah. But now the guano's mm. behind your ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's juggling it. Meat face has very small ears, very little hair. Come, everyone. Where did that country go? <laughs> this way. Jeez, Beth, Beth and uh, Jerry, there's some uh, there's some chemistry going on between the two of you. Mm, like right. rose petals. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head north to this next room. Um, give me, everybody give me a wisdom perception check. Oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat> Meatface got 22. Ooh. Meatface well, very perceptive. Meatface well, 12. Open well, eyes. Okay. 18. 18. Kier gazes across the room with his 19, 20. noticing everything. Wow. <laughs> I got a 20, my bad. Except for... <laughs> <laughs> so, nice try. all of you are easily able to hear the sounds of conversation as you approach this room. You can hear what sounds like uh, two goblins having a conversation, presumably in goblin. Do any of you speak goblin? No. That's a good question. Isn't it? I speak yes. Draconic, and, yes. which is well, a weird of one. Course, then Kier summon does. a devil. <laughs> goblin. goblin? Seriously? Shh, I'll translate. <laughs> Jerry is Jerry. Jerry is far too capable. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Well, it's care. That's mm. your. Hold on. That's true. Mm. That's interesting that's dialect. dialect. Here, you hear <laughs> these two goblins, and they they're having this conversation with each other. They they appear to be arguing, and one of them is like, "God, I just can't believe what a jerk Jerry can be," and the other one says, uh, You're "Saying how fantastic I am." <laughs> <laughs> the other oh. one says, "Well." Did you see what Jerry did the other day? And the, fir the first one says, well, that's nothing to compare to. Have you, have you even heard what the other two Jerry's have been up to lately? They're saying they wish there were more of me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so odd. Okay. Yeah, it's wondering true. if You've never met, but I'm my wondering exploit. if Jerry might just be their term for a screw up now at this point. <laughs> I can't hear it. I mean, I'm relying on your translation. Yeah. Just taking a stab in the dark. Exactly. Right? Hey, there you go. Meat, meat face wonder if, who, who behind door. They clearly have nothing of value to give us. We should kill them immediately. Meat face smashes the door down. Oh, meat face, go. All right. Oh no, it's not a question of. <laughs> yeah, I don't need you. I, meat, face is, meat face is going. This, Inspired him. I do one thing. You do, and you smash. This room features a small wooden table and a couple of stools. Two goblins are hanging out here, looking pretty bored. Maybe they'd be less bored if they got I immediately into a attack whichever one is closest death. to me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's have a couple of stools. I knew about that <laughs> before. <laughs> give me a, everybody give me a, an initiative roll. See? Oh, <laughs> dumb. Wow. Meat face did a bad. Yeah, with, with meat face. Oh, meat face did a no. seven. A seven. Oh, no, yeah. meat face. Cat. Oh, no, meat L Lucky number 13. Oh, yeah. In some cultures. Uh, Leanne? Uh, that would be an 11. 11. Excellent. Here. Kier sits back and watches what everyone does so he can fill in where most appropriate <laughs> with, with a nine. Oh, yeah, You're yeah. a damned yeah. coward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> uh, first in the order is Keth. Oh, great. Uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna try and slip. Well, wait, am I still out uh, on this side of the threshold You're or have I entered? I, I, I would like to try and slip into the room without being spotted. Give me a stealth check, please. 20. Oh, yeah. 
you are able to sneak wherever you want into that Hell room. Is that yeah. a nat 20 or a dirty 20? Dirty. Okay. Always. It's, <laughs> come on. Um, get, you get into wherever you want to position yourself in that room. You're able to get there. I, I'd like to spring up behind the nearest goblin, all, all goth and cool, and take all my frustrations out by jamming it! Excellent, excellent. Go for it. Give me that, that attack roll. He gets that for me, you know. <laughs> 18. Yeah, I think that'll hit. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, I love it. Sneak Rolling damage. Oh, yeah, and what? You get sneak attack there, too. Sneak I attack, guess. I get to add a 1d6. So that will be 4 plus. Ooh, <gasps> 12, baby. Good Lord. All right, so as wow. as Meatface comes oh crashing in, and this goblin, <laughs> these goblins kind of turn, and they're they're sitting at this table, kind of like eating, I don't know, jerky, and <laughs> and they they're like, oh. and they one of them is decapitated by you instantaneously. <laughs> That, oh. Jesus Christ! It's, like, it's some Kill Bill type stuff where like the head is just like. Oh no! And then the head just falls off. Well, I, I like actually kind of feel weird about it. It's too, it's too, it's too, much. Much. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Like, it's like second room. All right, next in the order is Leanne. Okay. For some reason, Leanne is very um, intimidating. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just yell at one of them mm -hmm. ah! and scare it away. Oh, that's great. Just you, go. You can add intimidation roll. Please. Okay. 21. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is a little. How uh. exciting! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's I, honestly all of you are a little shaken by this. Um, it, it came out of nowhere and it's frightening. Oh, then as a bonus, can I do a little bit of? Um, is it thaumaturgy? Thaumaturgy. 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 thaumaturgy? Is that? It might be an action to cast oh, thaumaturgy. Is it? Yeah. It's not a bonus. bonus action. But okay. Keep, keep well, that in your pocket. Trick yeah. someone. Nice yeah. 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 Next time. Okay. Um, so you are able to scare off the other goblin. The one that you decapitated oh. was wearing an eye patch, mm -hmm. and as its head falls off, the other the other um, uh, goblin says, "Oh no, leg." Leg. This is all in, in Goblin, of course. Is screaming. I am And then <laughs> is it, it's a, a, your intimidation roll, and this one is starts uh, limping out of the room, obviously with a bad leg, oh. and and it's it it, it escapes north. It it's gone. Escapes on, like through a door it or on one and a half legs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the other one had an. It flees iPad. through a door to the north. Mm. So these are like. I mean, crappy or somehow yeah. damaged goblins yeah. is yeah. what I'm thinking. I, yeah. I feel like more so vulnerable is, yeah. is the word we should be using. Uh, adventurously challenged. Oh my so god. Damaged by previous adventurers, it's unclear. Okay. Yeah. Jerry just kind of feels every bit of this. Yeah? Just slight, yeah. Oh, buddy, yeah. I'm sorry. These goblins were named Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just says everything, doesn't it? <laughs> More, uh, meat face picks himself off the floor, uh, checks around what else we got in the room, just um, tables. Just and... that table, some stools. There's nothing else in here except that door to the north where the other goblin. Oh, I'm going to follow that goblin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Immediately, goblin? yeah. Right. If, I, if I fling open the door, can I see him down the hallway? Um, you see motion down the hallway, but it escapes into the blackness. Yeah. Put my javelin away. <laughs> All right. All right. You keep that javelin for later. You, are you heading north, Meatface? Yeah. Okay. Meatface will head through the door and get Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys all fall in? Yes. Yeah. My... Keth is feeling strangely confident. My, my <laughs> lit mace. Yes. Keth maybe I mean, wants to see therapists. It's a, it a one-shot murder. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> all right. So you get into a new room. This room is sort of trapezoidal with doors to the east, north, and south. It's also got statues kind of scattered around, um, mostly statues of <laughs> Rick. With inscriptions like "Wow," and, and there's one with him uh, posing like this, and the inscription just says "Damn." Um, one of the one of the statues depicts a woman in armor, really fine crafting, like real interesting. Seems like a great artist worked very hard on this one. That's what you got. And is if can, is there any chance of recognizing the person? Uh, yeah, is that you worth give me, a roll. Give me a perception check. Okay. Sure. Six. All right, no, you don't recognize this person, but. I don't think so. But while you are trying to recognize her and you're doing that like art museum, mm. like, hmm, oh. Mm. Huh, uh, you find a, uh, a base, at the base of that statue, you find a plaque. And it says, don't worry. I'm not a real person turned to stone. 
I'm just a cool looking statue put here to intrigue you. <laughs> it's probably nothing. You should pick a door. We should move on. Don't touch the statue, please. <laughs> Um, Meatface is weirdly enough proficient in history. <laughs> um, can he check around and see if there's anything that he recognizes from a historical sense? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, Meatface, Whoa. buddy, uh, 11. Okay, so you check around, you see a statue of Rick um, sort of in this like Genghis Khan kind of outfit, <laughs> and you think uh, with that with that role, you're like, ah yes, the, the historical icon of Rick Sanchez, the Conqueror, um, and you're very impressed, um, and you heal for two points if you've taken any damage, which I'm Meat face has not, okay, but well, he appreciates that. Yeah, you would have healed for two points, yeah, yeah. because you're appreciating Rick so much. I appreciate that. Can Leanne um, just cut or use perception just to see if any of these particular doors have been handled a little bit more than others? Some of them sure. are a bit more yeah, wear and yeah, yeah. tear, see what's been most used. Yeah, cool. Six. <laughs> <laughs> all the doors, kind of, they just kind of look like doors to mm. you. Um, and uh, all of them sort of look like they've been equally manhandled over the years. <sighs> but yeah. That's... These three, they're adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a day drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Meat fish, baby. Oh no, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, Kier, you want to try anything? Yeah, uh, I would, Kier would like to see if he can recognize the face of the, uh, the woman. Okay, give me a perception check, please. Yes. Mm. Anything else? Uh, a 10. A 10, all right. You guys are all pathetic, so I'm just gonna give this to you. Wow. All right. <laughs> Hold on, I know who this is, and while this is happening, I'm gonna mage hand and knock the uh, Jerry, statue of Rick Khan Rick over. Rick is Khan? <laughs> yeah. Well, mage hand can only uh, work with about five pounds, so yet again, you're impotent. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't even have to burn with his light. <laughs> <laughs> but you're 10. You are able to find a secret hidden compartment in the statue of the woman in armor. Where? And it holds a scrap of paper. Where is the compartment? This is important. <laughs> Anatomically <laughs> speaking, where, yeah. are we? where are we opening? The thigh cracks open. What are we? I'm going to leave it up to the. Her chance behind a Where's curve. Where's the slot? Yes. Yes. Oh, Definitely no. behind a curve. Uh, Although I don't know if Jerry would be able to find his way around. <laughs> Yeah, you find a scrap of paper. There are lots of <laughs> mysterious spots. <laughs> you chose Jerry. You chose Jerry. I'm working with what I have. <laughs> would you like to read this scrap of paper, Kier? Uh, I would, please. What language is it in? Come on. It's in common. Mm -hmm. Do you speak come on? I do speak come on. Okay. It's, it says, quit wasting time. Pick a door and go. <laughs> Flip a coin if you have to. Just pick a direction. It's not rocket science. What are you gonna do? Spend the whole night standing in here with these statues? You need to pick a door and go! This is like the third fucking room we don't have all day. So I figure this is some kind of Resident Evil statue puzzle. We should stay in here and push it into every possible mm. position. Yep. It's a big old sign. Just, I really hate your father. <laughs> Let's go east. east. Easter. East. Sounds Easter is good with it. Would you like to go east? Let's go east. We're sticking together. I know that much. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. We don't have enough hit points between us. <laughs> no. Uh, Leanne, give me a perception check. Thirteen. Okay. You now hear voices arguing beyond that that door to the eastern uh, corridor. Untrapped, you went through it, but as you approach this next room, <laughs> you, but they're in Goblin. Oh. You hear these voices in Goblin again. One of them's choking, <laughs> and the other one is shitting <laughs> himself. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like maybe you read this adventure already. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are those two things connected? Yes, yeah. I don't want to find out about it. <laughs> I believe the only one among you who speaks Goblin is you, Kier. God. We're very dependent on Jerry. How? <laughs> I'm actually Kier Bravan, heroic adventurer of this dungeon. Go on, Kier. And, and I listen for the goblin. Okay. You uh, you hear them chattering. It's too, they sound pissed off. Um, and you can't quite make out what they're saying because they're kind of talking this low voice, but every once in a while you hear like, murder, or treasure. Or asshole. <laughs> Talking about some like two of those Rick. three things. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but <laughs> something about murdering treasure. Mm. Mm. This sounds like Meatface's area of expertise. Sweetheart, you should definitely go in there and kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Meatface does not appreciate that frivolity, but also it makes him feel closer to people. Thank you. 
<laughs> Meat face um, I'll goes kick open that door. <laughs> oh my god. Meat face. Okay. Uh, two pissed oh. off goblins Ooh. chatter in their native language. Between them is the dead body of a third goblin. I hurl a javelin at, <laughs> at the body. <laughs> the dead body. Whichever one. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna finish reading my <laughs> fucking box text. Do it, and then tell me how that javelin throws. John, goes. I'm sorry if this is too many swears. Feel free to bleep them. <laughs> Um, between Meat them faces, is the body sorry. of the third goblin. All of them look alike, so maybe they're related. Something for your noodle to bake on for a while. Whoa. Whoa all goblins look alike all of a sudden. <laughs> they <laughs> do. All right. Behind them is a pile of glittering treasure. Wealth beyond reckoning. It could oh, be yours. Good. Just deal with these goblins first. And remember, these are someone's mommy and daddy, maybe. Meatface still throws the javelin. All right, mm. everybody roll initiative. Great. <laughs> Jesus, Meatface. Well, we did Can I get it. that as a surprise? Right, come on, Jerry. Yeah, for sure. Whoa. Great. All right. So yeah, I'm an 18 on my regular initiative. 18? Okay. Yeah. 11 for Kath. Okay. Maybe an 8 for Le yeah. Leanne. Yeah. Someone swap D20s with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll try it. Get a 4. No, I think that's you're, that's pretty appropriate. You're I think Jerry, look, I love, are these specifically Jerry dice? That's Jerry's D20, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Meatface, go ahead. All right, uh, 15 for the javelin throw. Actually, I do think that hits. Yeah, go ahead and give me your damage. Excellent. Ugh, four. Okay. Um, which, there, there's, uh, there are two goblins. You aiming at the one on the left or on the right? Is, or the one sleeping. Not to sound prejudiced against goblins, is there a difference? Wow, 2019, bro. Yeah, there's a difference. Meat face woke. <laughs> Yeah, there's a difference. One's on the left and one's on the right. Then I don't like the right-handed one. Yeah, okay, all right. Wow, but okay. Uh, okay. So you Meat face left-handed. <laughs> oh, interesting yes. character choice. I know, right? Wow. A lot right. of backstory to Meat Face. I'm Super gonna, complex. I'm making a note. Um, okay, so you fire your javelin, you throw it, it hits this goblin. Uh, the goblin does not die, but its its argument with its fellow ceases as a huge piece of metal and, and uh, wood comes lodging into its tummy. Meat face! It says, it, in, in goblin, it's like, oh no, not again. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh no. Next in the order is the goblins. Um, the, will hi. The one, the one that uh, is be, is currently stabbed will not be able to make an attack. But the other one whirls around and looks at you, you guys, and um, it doesn't attack any of you. It says, wait, no, there doesn't need to be any more death today. It says this in common, so because it can tell. Oh. Y'all are common speakers. It's cool. yeah. Meat face it's meanwhile is pulling his great axe out. Oh, <laughs> oh god. god. All right. Um, okay, so I guess meat face again, yeah? Mm. yeah. That's right, let's go for the peacemaker. It's for its life. It's, it's yeah. in awe of our I heard it. I, I heard it. Maybe it could answer <laughs> some. Language? All right, okay. 18. <laughs> 18, and are you attacking the javelin one or the, the other one? No, the, the other one, but we'll go non lethally. Lawful neutral. Yeah. Okay. Lawful neutral. Yeah, lawful neutral. All right. Okay. It's, you know, goblins are evil. Incapacitation is not the same as execution. <laughs> All right, so, so that's the javelin. Well said, Nita. You have? Well said. I have very rudimentary <laughs> understanding of my a great axe. <laughs> you, okay, you're wedged. Not, Flat side. Non-lethal. Like, it definitely hits. Okay. So do you just want to you just want to incapacitate this, this yes, bad boy? Yes, if I can bonk it on the head, yeah. side, turn the axe sideways. What's your damage? Uh, it's uh, going to be 11. You murder it. Yeah, yeah, you murder it with- Wait, <laughs> no. <laughs> Spine. Yeah. You, Telescopes. You, you've destroyed it. That's what happens if, when you if use if a hammer been for under everything. a certain number, that would have been non-lethal. I think meat face. That's. It's it's a Lenny petting the rabbits kind oh, of. Situation. No. Oh no. No. Yeah, you pet the rabbits a little too hard. Oh Lenny. well, that other one's still alive. You, yeah, it smashes like cartoonishly into the ground. The one with the javelin in its belly still technically alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, the next newer is Cat. I'm gonna go yank the javelin out. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, We're not getting any information from these guys. You guys. I hate common. to break it to you. Oh, yeah. All right, you uh, give me um, a strength check, please. Ooh, straight strength. strength. Straight strength. <laughs> Dragon. Nice. And That's that, a nat, nat 20. 20. Ooh, nat so 20. Your nat drink. Mm -hmm. um, your, you, <laughs> what is your, are you trying to inflict more damage or do you want to preserve the life of the creature? I am, tr I was trying to uh, steal the javelin. Oh, you're trying to steal it. Oh my gosh, yeah. really, are they? Oh, okay. I've been instructed by my sheet to. <laughs> a little bit of kleptomancy. I'm a little, I'm a little bit of a thief. So you don't care about whether this goblin lives or dies? 
It was not, if I'm being honest, it was not part of my reasoning. <laughs> it's like, three, it's like let's say this pencil's There's here a, and I want it. There's treasure right over there. I grab yeah. it. No problem. <laughs> um, give me a, a, what is it, a D6 on a javelin? Uh, yeah, javelin D6. Yeah, give me a D6. Six. Ooh. Okay. All right. So you pull this javelin out. Congratulations. You now have a javelin. Add that to your inventory. <laughs> However, the goblin is no more. The gob the, the damage from that like pointy part of the javelin comes crushing back out through all of his organs. Got the spleen, got the liver, you got bits it's of like all It's like a shish there, kebab, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Do I yeah. see? You roast you roast that up, you guys get a nice uh, a nice meal out of it, but yeah, the, those goblins are dead. Um, give me every everybody uh, give me a perception check also. Do I recognize that Morty is stealing my <laughs> my <laughs> javelin? <laughs> no. Fifteen. Uh, okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Fifteen. Eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so all of you except for Jerry, uh, as these goblin bodies hit the floor, they make a curious jingling sound. I also want to note because I'm proud of it that uh, when I typed this. As the bodies hit the floor, mm -hmm. floor has like five O's in it. Good. <laughs> I can't believe I got away with that. The editors let me keep that in. Wow, I'm very <laughs> The proud bodies of you. hit the floor. All right, so yeah, they're all jingling as they hit the floor. Um, me feels feels bad for a second about accidentally de jacking the boxing mm -hmm. that one dude, mm -hmm. uh, but as soon as he hears jingling, just. Give me the, get what's in the Opening pockets. him up like a yeah, point like, purse. Like tearing him in half. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's in them pockets? In the pockets? Yeah. There's oh. nothing in the pockets. <gasps> magical jingles. <laughs> the jingles are magic. The jingles are magic. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a little bit resentful because my personality traits are that I would never abandon someone who needs help and that all life is precious and should be preserved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's Even just evilly aligned that's life. That's just a little bit of despicable behavior I'm seeing from you, you two. Do we need to have a little conversation? There's a corner. I will send you to it. Ah, uh, geez, mom, you're getting real mom on us. We're trying to have an adventure. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm taking meat faces to like the time he's spending rummaging. I'm just trying to hide the javelin on my purse. Yeah, do I notice him pull it out of that other guy or no? Um, you give me a sleight of hand check, you give yeah. me a uh, perception check. All right, means uh, I've got a chance. Mm, 21. Ooh, also 20, wait, 22. <laughs> wow. You just fudged that, didn't you? I, did, I promise. No, that. I know, I know. You, uh, uh, you notice he's stealing your javelin. What are you gonna do about it? Meatface doesn't say anything. Morty Keth needs this. <laughs> Morty Keth, he needs a, he needs a win. He needs he need win. <laughs> Meat face is allowing better. All right. Keth wets his cod piece, but like just a little bit, a respectable amount. <laughs> Meat face bit. scares me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you got jingling bodies. You've yeah. also got a door the, to the northwest, uh, which is not the one so you came in. When, when I find nothing in the pockets, does the body keep jingling? Mm -hmm. I pick it up and like shake it. Jingles. Like a lot. A lot. Uh, can we hear I, where on the body the jingle? Like, yeah, is it coming from like inside sound? or is it like yeah. magical? It's like muffled as though by organs and skin and bones and muscle. Oh, well, let me get in there. You gotta open these goblets up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone look away. I yeah. hide behind my shield. <laughs> Nobody pay attention, it get gross. <laughs> oh. Um. Tell me how you want to open these goblins up. I mean, I feel like it's a go I can kind of just get my, just go oh. right in there. Mm. I like to press so the, the mouth of the like beak. No, like right, just like blur. through, just like punch like through the skin part. thing right over what's happening. It's like well, a grocery the, the store turkey. The sound is worse than seeing it. Oh, no, not, not, uh, basically just like, you know, through. It's, I, I imagine it's like punching through wet tissue paper. Oh. Kind of like the chest burster scene in reverse. For exactly. You're just going exactly. I'm just going all right, anybody who's punching into the goblin, um, give me a strength. No. <laughs> Kath is, <laughs> Kath can't. Oh! Oh! What does this even mean? What's gonna happen? That's a very good question. Right, right. Fail. Yeah. Look, yeah. This is already open, though. That's true. That one, yeah? Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, so. Just a critical beefing. Yes. Um, though that would technically be a four. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I don't Based care what it at. technically oh, is. Isn't that one, baby? The patient's not going to um, recover. No. <laughs> so, I could um, save him. <laughs> I could so save. the the way that works is you are you punch your way into its throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking like chest cavity, just oh, like just straight through the rib cage. Holy ma, this yeah. thing. Okay. 
Um, you, everyone sees or hears mm. uh, Meat Face pick up this goblin body and punch it, and the goblin body goes flying into the pile of treasure and lands with a jingle thump. A jingle thump. Why are we going after the hypothetical gold inside these corpses when there's a pile of treasure? Uh, Kath is going to go investigate the pile of we treasure. We can add the inside <laughs> gold to the outside gold. True. All right. Uh, Kath, are you going to pick up some of this treasure? I'm going to examine it carefully without you interacting mean, with it first. Give me an investigation check. Trying to trick me. Uh, investigation, that is a 15. Okay. Um, you are able to determine pretty, you're, you, this doesn't look cursed. It doesn't look okay. like there's a trap here. You're, you're able to figure it out. Um, they do smell unusual. They? Can I detect magic? Uh, can Leanne detect magic? Yeah, do you have, do you have detect magic? Sure do. Yeah, give me that. Give me that detect magic. <laughs> what is my bonus to roll? I think you just do it with magic. Oh, it just happens? Yeah, it just tells you yeah. the schools. Yeah. Just it is? Right. Yeah, I just do it. I then I'm just right. doing it. You then just I'm do doing it. it. You just do it. It's still a 17 for what it's worth. Which is why I still do <laughs> it really good. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Really well. yeah. <laughs> However, it's a dead zone. Like, you got nothing glowing here. Oh, yeah. No um, magic at all. Can I investigate, <clears throat> can Kier investigate the smell coming off they, yes. meaning the coins, I imagine? Yes, yeah, please. Go ahead and give me that investigation check. <laughs> oh, okay, finally. Shut up, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, 20. Amazing, excellent Cheater. role. So you, uh, you, I have a nose for these things. You're able to um, determine through very uh, careful investigation. You pick up one of these coins and you realize it's made of chocolate. Chocolate. It's chocolate wrapped coin. The the the, the gold wrapped chocolate coins. Yep. Take a bite. Yeah, yeah. It's good though. It's chocolate. Me face. Meanwhile, searches the other goblin that was pre-opened. By the javelin? Yes. Okay. So I don't have to worry about getting in there. Inside of that. <laughs> so you're just like prying open. Well, so the like the hole's already there, and yeah, just, you're just going getting on. in there. Just, yeah. All right. Lord. You know what? I'll give that to you. I think Meatface need a win right now. Um, <laughs> you find 200 gold pieces. <laughs> Meatface! Actual gold, not candy gold, Actual right? Actual gold. Meatface! Yes. Just goblin piggy banks? Where exactly <laughs> did he find the. <laughs> yeah, where? In, uh, in the chest? Stomach, Largely but... in the stomach, but also kind of built up into the trachea. Yeah. They just in, spent the oh, afternoon been, eating gold. I bet they mixed up chocolate coins and real coins. And oh, they thought they were. Dumb. I don't know how you eat more than one without figuring it out. Yeah, I mean, maybe banks. it's like a cartoon you, thing where you can if just. If you guys had kept one alive and asked them, you probably could have found out what happened. Ah, yes, we won't find out. Meatface hey. tried. <laughs> After a, like we got a certain point. Uh, we'll both just stare them down, look real well. Listen, <laughs> Beth hasn't hit menopause yet. She slides some of those chocolate coins in her pocket. Yeah. Okay. Beth also being aware that chocolate is an insanely exotic. Delicacy in medieval times. That's fair. Oh yeah, yeah. Take some chocolate coins as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean that's mm. worth at least a hundred thousand gold pieces. Mm -hmm. there, so. uh, are we talking? If you find the right buyer. Dark chocolate? Oh god, white chocolate? A little almond chips. White chocolate just isn't normal. chocolate. Come on, it's exactly. Just candy. Yeah. It's honey based. No, it's just that's it's not, like milk chocolate. There's like no cocoa nibs. Right? Gross. All right, you guys go into the next room. Great. Sweet. Yes. I'm just glad we sure made a clear do. chocolate mystery. Sure IGN's official too much stance, time. screw white chocolate. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. I mean, I think that's the right move. Yeah. yeah. All right, check this room out. It's a little pantry. Oh, oh I have pantry. Loaded with chocolate. <laughs> I have pantry, because monsters have to eat. Believe it or not, the right. creatures that dwell in this dungeon exist even when you chumps are parading through their sh <laughs> The room. Hey, that happened once. <laughs> well, there was probably a little bit in the very recently. Style. It's a high ratio of parading <laughs> through rooms. Um, the room reeks of vinegar. Shelves line the walls on either side of you. They contain oversized pickle jars, which probably accounts for the stink. Mm. Most of the jars are filled with just brine, but a dozen still contain enormous pickles nearly two feet long. The jars are wider than the shelves, so they stick out over the edge. Mm. Also, there's a 10-foot ladder blocking the middle of the pantry, leaning against one of the upper shelves. Uh, Leanne can't help it. She walks into the room and declares, well, aren't we in a pickle? <laughs> Please make a dexterity acrobatics check. Wait, <laughs> what? Yes. Wait, what? Yes! <laughs> yes. Meefix loses his shit at that. The he puns backfire. <laughs> dexterity <laughs> athletics? Ac acrobatics. Acrobatics. What'd you get? A four. It wasn't sure funny, but no one cared. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, God. 
Five. Five? Mm. Okay. You, uh, you deliver, a, quite frankly, an incredible joke. And um, as you do so, you gesticulate um, artistically, a jar comes crashing down from the shelf and shatters into a thousand vinegar-soaked pieces. Ooh! The two-foot-long pickle in the jar you just jostled turns to face you. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew uh, it. I love just that. to say, the pickle has a face. Let me say that again. It's a pickle with a face. You don't love that? Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on now. Right. I just learned a valuable lesson about not killing ever. Ah, oh, dunk. Eight for Kath. Eight. Eight for me face. Me face. Me face. Leanne. Thirteen. Nicely. Wow. There. Twelve. Twelve. Still, you know, that's not the worst. Um, okay, so the first, <laughs> the first one, Leanne, you're <laughs> top of the order. Oh, God. Well, is this what what face is this pickle making? Did I, it appreciate the joke yeah. remotely? No, it didn't, because it doesn't speak your language. But it's it uh, it has this face. It looks kind of like like a newborn baby for a second, but then when it fixes its eyes on you, the eyebrows go. Mm. Oh, evil eyebrows! Baby with evil eyebrows. Okay, yeah, I got evil eyebrows. Okay, Absolutely. I am going to smash it. Yeah. That's reason enough to kill it. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, smash. Just at the onset. This dungeon's about kicking ass and getting. I'm going to relish this. <laughs> that was the, <laughs> that was the, the code name for this product at D&D. was called Relish. Really? Yeah. See? Yeah. So I'm going to smash it with my maze. That's a 20, but it's a dirty 20. Right. Dirty 20 is the best smash. kind. That definitely hits. Mm -hmm. Give me that smash, Dam. Love to. That's an eight. All right. So with your eight, you um, bludgeon it. You bludgeon the heck out of it, and it just it kind of like splits into this beautiful like octagonal fractal of pickle pieces, and is destroyed utterly. Dinner is served. <laughs> that one was okay too. <laughs> but I killed it. No, 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 that was good. Yay! Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh. Three. Other jars on the shelves have started to, that the pickles inside have turned to face all of you, and they have started to headbutt their jars oh God, to try so to knock them off. I don't love this. <laughs> so visceral. I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> Next in the order. Yeah, yeah, let's get Kier. Yeah, Kier. Kier. perfect. Oh, I love it. I step in front of Leanne and go, don't worry. <laughs> Killing pickles is my bread and butter. <laughs> and then I fire magic missiles, one at each jar. Oh my god, okay, give me that damage. Come on, really? That Le was not Dinner a good is served, one. gotta go. Leanne hated What's that. What's the deal with all these? <laughs> I don't know. I was going through a man, I was like, deal? Oh, okay, make it work. I'm not or, I stole like your it. spear. Gherkin, so. no. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, what you need I just heard that you failed another was... pickle or something. Four. 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 Dang, dude. Yeah. All right. Woo. So you fire your magic missile at, at three of these jars, and they they shatter into a thousand pieces, and the pickles within uh, fall onto the floor, and they all roll <laughs> to face you, and they all get the angry newborn baby eyebrows. Baby and they angry eyebrows. Sprout the arms and legs. Oh, oh arms and legs now. And oh legs. yeah, they get they get arms and legs, mm. and they, they they spring up, and it's their oh, turn. That. So That's they're gross. all going to attack you, Kier. Oh. Because you are their daddy, um, and Ooh. those are going to be what? This is some army of darkness. We got yeah. some here. Yeah. We got some new brothers and sisters. Thirty twenty. Me face is very good. Eighteen Not and an eight. This family. Does eighteen hit you? Uh, it certainly does. Okay, so you what was are going to. You said dirty twenty. Dirty and twenty and an eighteen. Yeah, and an eight. Yeah, yeah, two and an eight. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I Just need shield. you. No, we don't. Um, you are going to take four points of piercing damage from um, pickle bites. Um, and the vinegar probably. Oh my really gosh, you're a wizard. Oh, yeah. We're level oh, one. Yeah. Are you dead? No, no, no. not yet. Okay, all right. But like Almost. he's bleeding. But foreshadowing. <laughs> he's very badly hurt. Okay. Pickles made you bleed. All right. Here. <laughs> okay. It's funny because he's weak. <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> um, from the pickle bites, mm -hmm. you start to feel something strange. <gasps> you like. start to feel a little different. Like something is changing, you feel saltier. You would feel aroused over this. Like, like what am I feeling? <laughs> Not down there. Okay. Oh, kind of the whole like. thing though. Yeah, it's 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 here, uh -huh. but it's it's everywhere. Uh -huh. You are now a lycanthrop pickle. <laughs> oh my I god. Don't. Yes! 
That's all uh, I've ever wanted. <laughs> okay. Um, and the difference board. is <laughs> the uh, yeah. So you the cur this curse lasts for three days. Uh huh. Um, so definitely for the rest of this, um, and you uh, are able to at will change yourself into a pickle. And you can do that at any time. There's so much we can do with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you're going to be. Jerry. Do you. Can I. Is there a, anything I should be aware of that. In Well, you can choose as a hybrid. You can you can be cure mm -hmm. form. You can also be a hybrid form, which is sort of half and half. Right. Um, oh. But as a pickle, you have no stats and you are indistinguishable from a pickle. <laughs> so no, no angry eyebrows. Yeah, it depends on the emotion that Kier is feeling at the time. Probably just sad. Is, does he and still just, have a face in pickle form? He has a face. -ish. But that's it. Yeah, but there's the, otherwise, if uh, you know, at a glance, just looks like a pickle. Did it heal so his hit points at all? Can hide no, in plain him, sight. Probably made him worse. Oh good. If, in, in, I doubt it. Does that mean that all of the pickles? I'm noticing that we have that up in the portal behind you. Oh yeah. Um, are all of those oh, pickles so angry. people? <laughs> I wouldn't call them people necessarily. Were they once? Hey, uh, if we leave one alive, maybe we'll find out. You know we're not going to do that. Yeah. Oh, no, that's headcanon for Meatface. Yeah. <laughs> Meatface can make up his own. Meatface has found vast conspiracy <laughs> okay. about right. vinegar so you cucumber. Said once, how often can I do that? At will. Change at will. Wow. Yep, you can assume, assume pickle form or hybrid form. There is no mechanical definition of what a hybrid form looks yeah, like. Yeah, I so, can picture it though. <laughs> yeah, I sure can as well. It's, I'm gonna leave that up to your imagination. Okay. Next in the order is, I'm gonna guess Keth for the, the dex, because uh, yeah. you guys are tied. Yeah. Keth All is right, dex. Go ahead. I'm going, uh, Keth is worried about that the more pickles keep joining mm -hmm. the battle, so he's gonna yell, when is a monster not a monster? When it's a jar. And sweep all the jars off the shelf with his stolen javelin. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh, God. All right, give me an attack roll. Please. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, six. Oh, wow. All right. I don't even know what a failure looks like here. I right? Think you How do you fail to sweep a jar off a shelf? Yeah, They're I think too <laughs> strong. <laughs> Get those Here's weird little arms. You are a half orc, mm -hmm. but you're also a miniature half orc. That's and you, true. you misjudge the distance ever so slightly to get those jars. And honestly, it's probably for the best because you'd be swarmed with pickles at this point. So you are, you, you're like, ah, the javelin, you thought it was longer than it was. Okay. Classic. And you are able to sweep none of them off the shelf. Um, but I think it's probably a good move. All right. Yeah. 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 I think you it's probably like meant to do that. Sling orc. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm a little baby orc boy. Yeah, a little, a little baby orc boy. He's pretty cute. <laughs> Look at him go. Be honest. He worked out for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Meat face is so proud. He's trying his best. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he get that javelin? Wait. <laughs> Meat, face, Meat face, no. Meat okay. face, Meat face, Meat, Meat face not say anything. <laughs> Meat face. Meat face wants you to have this. <laughs> Meat face. God damn. It, it Meat face turn. Yeah, uh, it feels like his turn. father figure role has now just been taken as well. <laughs> Meat face usurper. <laughs> <laughs> um, Meat face uh, sees where this is going. Uh, how far is the ladder from where we are currently? Uh, maybe five feet. Okay, great. Is there like a hatch in the ceiling or? No, there's a door on the other side of the ladder. Okay. Meat face bull rushes through everybody and kicks open the door. Give me the dexterity acrobatics check, please, meat face. Oh no. Oh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, it's 15. It's all you needed. Cool. Yeah, you're able to somehow, although you are approximately nine feet wide, you get through this pantry <laughs> no problem to the door on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you look behind you, it's just like empty. Meat face full of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> meat face take tango class, leg on feet. <laughs> Um, is the other door locked? It is not. Cool. Smash it open. All right. You got you got uh, that going for you, which is nice. You still have <laughs> three pickles yeah. attacking you, I believe, but now you're kind of one of them. So we are back to the order with Leanne. Mm. Well, <laughs> I mean, good a bit luck. Of a pickle. <laughs> good luck. You are a bit of a pickle. She did that one already. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of don't <laughs> steal bits. First rule comedy. Yeah. Don't steal bits. You become more attractive every time you talk. <laughs> Funny. And every time I take a sip. Um, <laughs> I... Shaky wine hands, Beth. <laughs> Leanne, mm, your I think turn. Leanne in this stage obviously glances over to Kia, mm. who thought had more hope than Jerry ever could. 
but now that he's a hybrid pickle. He's defending you. Oh, man. <laughs> um, I, I, I kind of like step over. I'll use, I'll use my athletics to kind of like jump. No, that's dexterity. I want to use. It's gonna be dexterity acrobatics unless give me some good reason it should be athletics. Yeah. I mean, I feel pretty bitchin' in my chainmail. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'll use my like shield even just to kind of charge as well. I'm inspired. Okay. By this charging, I'm, ver I'm not very quite inspiring. Bored. Here's, so here's what I think you're gonna do. You're gonna use your shield to kind of push against the shelf of pickles to keep them exactly where they are. There it is. And that's that's a good use of your strength athletics. So go ahead and give me that roll. Thank you. I just need those plus plus, oh, eight. Mm. That's with a plus four. So. Oh, that's, that isn't great. Um, Holy here. <laughs> Let's see how many pickles oh, no. come crashing down on you. Uh, oh, not many, just one. Mm. So you uh, you are able to get past the ladder to where Meat Face is, but not without jostling one pickle jar onto the ground and smashing it. So they're now. His name is Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy him. <laughs> there are now four pickles, and they are all attacking you, Kier. So go ahead and. What, what is it? What would you like Leave to do? Leave him, mm, Kier. You have kind of a new lease on life. Mm -hmm. It's more briny than before. And you know, I feel confident, and I feel like I don't need the people holding me back, and I'm going to transform into a hybrid pickle <laughs> and say, I am the king of the pickles, kill them. And send all the pickles <laughs> at us. Betrayal. What? Yeah. Meatface does also, not appreciate quick, this. Is this because I you called Meatface dad yeah. that time? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't. Jesus, Jerry. All right. Um, <laughs> we all knew this is how this was going to end. Give me a persuasion check, yeah. I guess. Mm. Oh, that's not great. I want to say I'm surprised by this. Am I more persuasive no. as a pickle, or? Absolutely not. Okay, okay, okay. Just fewer okay. warts than you yeah. would normally. Yeah, that's true. That's go from eight. Pickle Rick to Pickle <laughs> <laughs> ah, There we go. All right. Um, I, they rolled worse than you did, mm -hmm. so. Okay, they as they go, I would say, stop. I just wanted them to know. Back to your jars. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they they're like they you hear these these weird little gurgly noises from the pickles <laughs> and they climb up the shelves. Their jars are destroyed, mm. but they are very obedient to their king. And Bathe so, in your brine. Yeah, they they go up and they lay back down where the jars used to be. Inevitably they will dry out and die a horrible death, but at least they won't trouble you any further. And isn't that what you want, Jerry? And I walk out with a bit of a pickle sachet and just sort of Close the door behind us. Use them as minions. This is a pretty freaky smelling dungeon. <laughs> chocolate and can pickles. Just, can you describe chocolate and pickles? Yeah, that's yeah. A, an interesting choice. I don't know why there's so much food. I probably was hungry when we were. <laughs> <laughs> um, so give me a description of what this hybrid form looks like. Uh, yeah, sure. Oof. It's uh, you know Mr. Peanut. Yeah. Sort of like don't, mm. sort of like that, but. With a pickle body, right? Yeah. Legs kind of extend, yeah. you know, about an eighth of the way up a pickle. So yep. you've got this nice little pickle tail thing going Ooh, on. Yeah. So okay. Um, and just the handsome face of Jerry, on, or sorry, mm -hmm. Kier, mm -hmm. <laughs> as portrayed by Jerry, uh, on this pickle. <laughs> now, is Kier's face just Jerry's face, or is it a slightly handsomer face? I think it's more handsome. By which I mean, oh, he's got pointy ears. Yeah, more, so. he's, he's got like sort of an elven pointy ear situation going on, but it's all about the expression. It's the bedroom eyes. Uh, the expression is like that steamy. He's confident, confident in a way Jerry he's, has never been for mm -hmm. So it's just an actual second. confidence. <laughs> yeah. but, but perhaps through Kira, Jerry will learn. Um, uh, and of course, there's the pickle crown. I was just about to ask if you had a yeah. top hat or mm. anything. Okay. It's a crown. <laughs> it's, it's a, a crown, crown because you're a monarch. Mm -hmm. Okay. I and agree. are you six feet tall or pickle whatever? Pickle king. Sorry, pickle yes. king. Yes. Six still human size? Uh, seven. Or elven size? Yeah. Do you seven. wear a monocle that is a pickle chip? <laughs> just like a Pickles oh. have perfect vision. What kind of oh, there you go. Okay. That's true. That was a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> Look, monocles, we all know monocles are perfect vision. Coming up, They're Jerry. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, so are we all exiting the pickle room? Yes. Sure. Uh. I'm already outside of it. All right. Wonderful. As soon as we're out through and the barrier is closed, I go back into full on cure form. Okay. I punch him immediately in the chest. <laughs> why would why you do did, that? Why is that level happening? One wizard? <laughs> Gently. Is it affectionate punch? In the no. Chest? Oh no, absolutely not. I do not appreciate. Meatface does not appreciate acts of betrayal, even if they are performative. All right, give me an unarmed attack. Ah, oh, geez, my two dads are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is 
This is the most excitement I've had in my <laughs> ex marriage. Um, unarmed attack is just strength modifier, right? No proficiency bonus? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, 19. Holy <laughs> shit. I think that hits you, Jerry. Yeah, that 100% hits. Yeah, the good news is, I think it's just damage. a D4. It's D4 plus strength mod, right? He's dead. <laughs> That'll be a 4. Well, if we're counting my strength mod, that's a 7. Jerry walks through the door, closes it behind him, turns triumphantly to catch his <laughs> fist in the chest, rendering him incapacitated as he falls to the ground, wondering what happened after just saving the lives of everyone involved in the incident. This all makes sense to me. And slowly, slowly, he, yeah. slowly he brinds out. He, oh no. Oh. Oh, no, I'll wait till you turn back into your uniform. <laughs> For the death of Jerry. That's our cliffhanger. Our next episode will be coming very soon. <laughs> Sorry I killed you, BT.